second half. Here's a squib kick. He taken fobbled at the 36. He ran ahead to the 39 yard line. And uh, getting the football for North Kitsap was uh, Manny Oliveras. So here's North Kitsap, and they like to use the no huddle. And they like to get things springing into action. And uh, no difference here in the second half. 14 0 North Kitsap. They had the football first in their own 40 yard line. One man in the backfield to hand off straight up the middle. Carson Walsh, the ball carrier, gets about five yards on the play. Second down and five for North Kitsap. Only uh, 50 yards in the first half, roughly for Shadow Park offensively. A little over 200 for North Kitsap. Compared touchdown passes for Colton Bauer, who's back to pass again. Swings on the near side. Short hops and intended receiver at the 48 yard line of Shadow Park. Logan Schloman, the intended receiver. Be third down and five. Just didn't get enough on the throw that time for Colton Bauer. And Colton Bauer will run back to the huddle. One man to the near sides. Three right receivers to the far side of the field. Colton Bauer caps his hands and back the pass. He's going to look deep. He's going to throw deep. And the receiver is tripped up at the 28 yard line. No flag will come in. And the crowd boos on the play. Logan Sloman pleading his case. And now we're bringing out fourth down. A, a pair of defenders there for Shadow Park. Loman gets bumped to the turf. No flag comes in. Fourth down and five for North Kitsap. They'll have to punt the football away to start things off here in the second half. And you can hear the North Kitsap faithful down below not liking the call. And I was waiting for the flag myself. Jordan Dever back to return the kick. Also back for Shadow Park. Take it for Hernandez. And again, the snap was over the punter's head. He's just going to get it off. This time he does. And a high kick is going to take a North Kitsap Viking roll. And how about that? The, the snap goes again over the head of the, of the kicker. DeLuna. And then he was able to get it off and get a nice roll for, ends up being a good kick. And for North Kitsap, they got to put the football away to start things off here in the third quarter. And they will get the football to Shadow Park on their own 27 yard line. Their first offensive possession to start things off in the second half. Uh, Spicious start offensively for North Kitsap. Trey Dickerson, the quarterback. Shotgun formation. For the Highlanders, one man in the backfield with Dickerson who claps his hand, gets the football high snap, yanks it out of the air. Now hesitation moves, tries to get up to the edge. Gets out across the 30 to the 35, and out of bounds around the 36 yard line. Nice run by Dickerson that time. About an eight or nine yard run by Trey Dickerson. Colton Bauer was the man there to aid Dickerson out of play. Brings up second down and one after a nine yard pickup by Trey Dickerson. And a nice run at that by the, the Highlanders who come up to the line of scrimmage in the far hash mark. Ball just across the 35. Nose of the football touching the 36. Two wide receivers to the near side for Shadow Park. One man in the backfield for the Highlanders. He'll take the snap and pitch to the near side. Trying to get outside the numbers as the bar carry. He's lose one tackler to 25. Finally gets close to the 40 yard line. Beckett Insminger, the ball carrier for the Shadow Park Highlanders. He'll pick up a first down and move the chains for the for Shadow Park who had under four, 50 yards offense in the first half. Get a first down and we'll move the football here. Throws the football touching the 40 yard line. One man splits in the near side for Shadow Park is Malachi Trout. Two, three right receivers to the far side, going from left to our right. Back to pass, underneath pressure is Dickerson. He's going to tuck the football and run. Gets outside the numbers to the 40. Darts and dances out of bounds around the 48, 49 yard line, or 41 yard line. We'll call it the 42 officially, second down and eight for, for Shader Park. Ethan Guerra there defensively for the Vikings to 
Get him out of bounds on the play. 10.27 to go here in the third quarter. 14-0 North Kitsap. North Kitsap get the initial punt to start things off in the second half. Had to punt the football away. And now Shado Park is their offensive crack of things here in the third quarter. With the ball on the far hash mark, going from left to right. Trey Dickerson, the quarterback, again working out of the shotgun. Two wide receivers to the near side. The turn and fling one to the flat out here at the 40. Looking for somewhere to run is the return man, Kai Trout. And maybe gets a yard or two on the play. Call it second down and eight for Shadow Park as he takes these swing pass to the flat on the near side. But he, there's a holding call on the play. There's the flag hidden by the referee at the 43. And now I'm over the football back. So every time Shadow Park gets something going and something continuity going on offense, something happens with a yellow hanky on the field. That will move that play back. For the Highlanders, the second, second down and eight. The mark be a 10-yard penalty. Second down and 18 coming up for for Shadow Park. Second 16 from the mark on the field. So they'll bring the football up to the 34-yard line. Shadow Park near hash mark. Starting things off here in the second half, going from our left to our right. Sheever to the near side for the Highlanders. Malachi Trout. The center man in motion to the far side is Lipscomb. Now back to pass. Throwing left. Throwing left. Caught left at the 38. Nice catch on the play by Connor Moya. The 5'11", 165 pound wide receiver for, for Shadow Park. Fly will come in after the play. And uh, maybe it's something in North Kitsap may have said. We'll have to see. Well, there's a, I wonder if that might be some kind of taunting penalty. They have that in the high school leagues. I think they do. But it's a flag game. Came well out after the play, and they're going to pick it up. The penalty is picked up. It is picked up. Yep, so uh, no flag on the play. So it brings up, nonetheless, for third down and nine for the Highlanders. Got to get to the 50-yard line to... Get the first down, ball on the 41 yard line. Okay, referee will pick it up and put it back down. And here comes the Highlanders out of the huddle on the far hash mark. Referee will wind his arm. The white hat. 957 and ticking here in the third quarter. 14 nothing, North Kitsap, far hash mark. Topping for the football and then uh, moving on to play with Zinspinger. For third down now, and a long way to go. Third down and 14. Shotgun for me. Zach Edwards will drift back deep for the Vikings. Zinsbinger to in the kick for for Shado Park. And uh, waiting for the punt. Here's the snap. This time it's on target. And then a rolling, rolling kick. Taken at the 29-yard line. Breaks the tackle at the 30. Squirts ahead to the 33 to Zach Edwards. The return man that time for North Kitsap. There defensively was uh, Michael McCullough, the 6'5", 240 pound defender on the play. And there's a flag down on the field at the 41 yard line. And so we'll have to see what it is there. Perhaps a holding call against North Kitsap as they're moving the Vikings kind of drifting back off to our right. Referees are talking things over. At the 40, at the 35. And uh, we're still waiting for the initial call. Here it is. 
personal foul, face mask against Shadow Park. So, Shadow Park, we'll see the football march their way. Is the Vikings will see the football move to head all the way across to 45 to the 48 yard line, thereabouts. First down and 10 for North Kitsap. So again, Colton Bowery and Company working out of the shotgun. Far hash mark. Going from right to our left, Bauer will turn 